Hi, Keith here and welcome to a short video that I promised last year about the Excel templates that I use. As regular viewers to this channel will know, I like to present the solar data and energy data that I have in graph form. Certainly I find it easier to view and hopefully it allows the viewer to understand visually what my usage is looking like. I also use these tables to keep track of what my generation looks like, what my grid usage and cost is, and ultimately what savings I'm making with the goal of tracking my return on investment, if you will. I'd also like to think that these graphs and tables help those viewing the videos who are thinking of going down the solar generation route, particularly with a similar house layout in terms of a east-west aspect. I certainly did the same in watching other YouTube channels talking about their solar installations and their performance and cost savings that they were seeing, and that formed part of my research that led me to decide on having the installation done. So with that in mind, I've updated my Excel template with a view to making it available for download for those that want to do something similar. So without further ado, here is the template. As per the note at the top of the sheet, you can input your data into any white cell with a red border. The two cells in cells O2 and O1 are where you put your current usage cost and stand in charge. And that stand in charge is applied each day. So that's already pre-calculated in terms of cost. You also have a column for solar generation, battery charging, grid export, battery usage, grid import and export payments and you can input your data into these white columns. Once you've input the daily data for each column, you will then see the remainder of the columns will then calculate. And what I'll do now is just add in some data from last year as an example. So, so once you've input the daily data for each column, you will see the remainder of the columns in light orange have now calculated and you can now see solar usage in kilowatt hours, total generated usage, total house usage and the grid cost and savings. If you have a export tariff you will also see that calculated through to your overall savings and then you'll then ultimately see how much of your energy usage is from solar which includes battery usage and what is from the grid. Do note that for export data you should enter your exported kilowatt hours total as a negative number and this is required for the graphs. Each month is then fed into an overall daily view for the year and also into a monthly totals table. And then on the other tabs you then have graphs that are all populated from that data. So you have a graph that populates for annual usage and monthly usage, split between grid import, battery usage, solar usage and grid export. And this is where you need to have that import entered as a negative number to show the negative value on the graph. You also have solar generation by month, split by grid and solar as a percentage, and also solar generation over the year and finally, a monthly view of the split between solar generated usage and grid usage. These graphs are loaded at the front of the spreadsheet as they're the more visual parts, but the sheet should give you some options in monitoring your solar installation performance. So I hope this will be a useful tool for you. As I said, I will make it available for download by putting a link in the description. Obviously, as with any downloaded file, please do virus check it first before opening it. Not that my PC has anything untoward on it, but it's more that it's just good practice to do so. As always, please do like and subscribe if this video has been useful to you. And please do put any comments down below. And I'll see you for the next one. Thank you.